This could be the moment we've been waiting for The chance to feel alive Nothing's gonna stop us, nothing's gonna top this Nothing like we've ever seen Festival goers to the 2020 Dollar Bank Three Rivers Arts Festival, a production of the Pittsburgh Cultural Trust. We're live from Pittsburgh and streaming around the world from the Dollar Bank Digital Main Stage. Tonight's show features Josh Verbanitz and WQED's Rick Seaback, with special guests, the Buckle Downs. This is where it all begins. Hi everyone, I'm Sarah Aziz. I'm the Director of Festival Management for the Pittsburgh Cultural Trust. I'd like to welcome you to the 61st annual Dollar Bank Three Rivers Arts Festival. Thank you for joining us in this virtual festival this year. I'd like to welcome in my friend, Josh Verbanitz, who's going to host the show. Hey, Josh. Sarah, how are you? How's it going? I'm, I'm good, I can't believe we're here. Can't believe it's June 5th. Feels good to we see people's it. faces. You know, it really does. It it really is good. Um, so yeah, it's been a it's been a really difficult time, I think, for everyone between the pandemic and um, all of the marches and everything happening um, in response. I just want to thank everyone really for being here and hope that the festival can be a way to bring us together to have some meaningful dialogue. And do you remember last year when we were kicking off the festival in the park with Indy Irie? I do. And, and honestly, some of my best memories of the Arts Fest are learning about performers of color, African-American artists that I, that I never would have heard otherwise. I have a great memory of seeing the Carolina Chocolate Drops in 2012. Yeah. And I think their lead singer, Rhiannon, was back three years later for yep. just incre incredible events. Um, the band that I'm in, when, when I'm playing with a full rock and roll band, Meeting of Important People, we opened for Las Cafeteras maybe three yeah. years ago. Uh -huh. um, Artists that I never, that. yeah, artists that I never would have heard on 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 the major radio stations that I was listening to at the time, and uh, I'm a, I'm a fan for life. Thanks to thanks to the Arts Fest and the culture. Well, thanks, show. thanks for being a fan for life. Thanks for being our friend. Thanks for hosting this show tonight. And um, I'm gonna get out of here and leave this to you and Rick to entertain all of our uh, great audience out there. So thank you, Josh, and I'll see you later. All right. People of Pittsburgh, people of Earth, I'm coming to you live from a basement with a dehumidifier. The air is purified and it's not raining outside even though it's the arts festival. It's time for me to welcome to your screens the one and only WQED's Rick Seaback. Huge round of applause digitally for Rick Seaback. Hey, thanks Josh, very, very much. I'm honored to be here because, you know, nothing says the beginning of summer like the Three Rivers Arts Festival. I, I, wish, I wish we were wandering through Point State Park. I can almost smell corn dogs. I can almost smell funnel cake. Um, instead, I'm just smelling a basement. Do you have Do you have any memories of the arts festival, Rick? What are, I mean, this is a 61 year institution at this point. I'm uh, not saying you've been around for all of them, but you know, a few. No, I, I, I guess I could have been to all of them. I don't think I, when I was a wee babe that I, I, I went to them, but uh, you know, I certainly remember uh, being in high school at Bethel Park and you know, everybody saying, hey, let's go down to the arts festival because it was it was a thing and it was really fun and it was different. And, you know, you got to meet all these artists who were, you know, selling their wares under those tents. And, um, you know, 
interesting food and always great music. And I think that's why we're here tonight. You know, it's uh, it's always been a part of it. And, you know, when you look back, it's funny because this started in 1960. Um, this isn't the 60th, though. It's the 61st in 2020. Man, and, uh, yeah. The first time it's virtual. I mean, you know, because of circumstances and beyond our control. But this is, I think, a wonderful way. And I, I encourage everyone to be sure to know that uh, address there, trustarts.org slash T-R-A-F, Three Rivers Arts Festival, because there's so much to wander through. And, you know, there's all kinds of performers all the time. You can be looking at, you know, dance and music and visual arts of all sorts and, you know, uh, get acquainted with the website because we're going to be here for 10 days. I think we're almost burying the lead too. We, we're really excited about the artists that we have joining us tonight, the Buckle Downs. They will be up in just a few moments. I think what we're going to do is we're going to promote this, this spirit of, of healing. I'm gonna play a quick acoustic anthem and then we're gonna get out of the way for your, for your featured performers. This is a song dedicated to the city of Pittsburgh. Uh, this song is called, When You've Got a Clean Head. It's about overcoming difficult times and above all, being able to manage all the different voices pulling you in different directions to do what you know is the right thing to do. It's only I was ringing like a bell. I was doing the things that you don't do well. Told me I was looking like that. I was late on my bills and my yard was a wreck. He told me I was thinking too much. I was chasing the girls up the slip and the brush. They told me I was acting real mean. Didn't know I was being obscene. But I got a clean head. I'm feeling fine. I've got a clean head. Oh my, my. Now I've got a clean head. Stars are blind, you really gotta be there. I've got a blue head, feet are blind. I said I got a blue head, I walk the line. Now I've got a blue head, stars are blind, when you gotta be there. They told me I was ringing like a bell, I was doing the things that you don't do well. I was laughing for six years, I have been through it again, just the point in ten years. They told me I was lying for tea, I was telling the truth, so that's all it used to be. You know me, I was looking for a fight, I'm turning it over to tight, cause now I gotta be dead, I'm feeling fine. I gotta be dead, oh my mind. I gotta be dead, the stars are aligned. Welcome to the 2020 Three Rivers Digital Arts Festival. <laughs> hey, great way to start. Excellent song. It's, 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 a, it's a, a meeting of important people song, isn't it? That'd be an original song. That's an original fake kink song. And I think, I think the people out there are about to hear some of the most wonderful original music that they'll hear today. Certainly wasn't that. People of Earth, we're going to throw to our musical guest tonight. Will you please welcome the incredible Buckle Downs. Huge digital round of applause for the Buckle Downs. Josh, you have no idea how good it is to hear you again. <laughs> Thank you for that. Hey, 
by name we obviously know one another i sing in wedding bands with the lead singer of the buckle downs markula and um it's made every every other saturday night of the summer like the happiest day of my life another round of applause for these for these these amazing performers oh thanks man is this your first time witnessing well i've heard them before on youtube only because you told me to uh, listen but it's really wonderful to hear you and where are you guys kiki we're in Lawrenceville right now. And it's okay? As far as we know. So is this the first time you've played together in a while? This, um, oh my gosh, I think this is the third time we've seen each other since, what, February or March? Wow. March, yeah. You sound great. Thanks. Thanks. It's, it's kind of strange to be back here doing this. I didn't think we'd be doing it so soon, but I'm definitely glad we are. Well, I think we're all honored to have you here. You know, it's a, it's a long 
wonderful procession of all the performers who've been at the arts festival, Ella Fitzgerald, Ray Charles, you know, the Black Keys, all kinds of people. I, I Josh and I talked about seeing Wilco, all kinds of wonderful bands. Jake Bug, we both remember. Oh so, you know, we're happy to have you here. And I think, you know, we, we need more, don't we, Josh? I think we do. Would you would you grace us with like two back to back songs? That way we won't even kill the momentum with with our witticisms. Can we just can we just have two songs? I think we I think we can make oh, that happen. Thank goodness. Let me just get this. Let me get this. <laughs> Here we go. People of Earth, once again, the buckle downs. What is this? What did we do? How did I almost end up hating you? What is this? I can't see. Will this be the piece of you that finally kills me? There would be so much controversy What did we do to ourselves? You just can't seem to see This monster destroying me Or am I fooling myself?
has a point to be keeping my stride My mama always said to bite your tongue if you can't say nothing nice But that's no longer the game we play So we stay it and we say it twice so good to hear bass and drums on all of the live feed stuff that we've had for the last three months. I, I forgot what bass and drums sound like. Thank you so, so much for joining us tonight. I, how, where can our viewers find your music, Kiki? Where, where, where can we find oh, Buckle Down's music? Oh, we're pretty much on every digital platform imaginable. <laughs> um, where are we? I know we're on Bandcamp, but where else are we? On Spotify, Apple Music, but our website, buckledowns.com, Instagram, Facebook, wherever you can find us. Kiki, could you could you tell us the other man, band members' names real quick? Could you introduce I can do band? that. I'll start over this way. Can you see this guy? This guy on the keyboard? That's Dave back here. 
Hi, Dave. Hey, All Dave. Right, we got Damien back here on base. Damien. You see Matt back here on drums, hey. staying socially distanced and safe, unlike the rest of us. And we got Ernie over here on guitar. Wonderful, wonderful to see everyone. Rick, do we have any additional plugs that we want to make while we're on the topic of, of plugging things? Well, I think, you know, it's always nice to remember that the, uh, you know, cultural trust is behind all of this and they have some things that they're, you know, always willing. They have some nice uh, uh, souvenir kinds of things that they're going to have up on the website. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's always nice to say thanks to Dollar Bank for being the, uh, you know, title sponsor. And they've been doing that, I think, since 2010. So, you know, this is their 10th or 11th year of being the title sponsor of the Dollar Bank Three Rivers Arts Festival. Um, but you know what? I just think that it's such a great part of Pittsburgh that every year, and and, and it's so nice to have the buckle downs of Pittsburgh band because the, the, there's a tradition of that too. Sometimes the Pittsburgh Symphony has been the opening concert. Um, you know, uh, one year, I, I want to say it was 1996, George Benson came back to Pittsburgh mm -hmm. and 40,000 people showed up to see him play. So, you know, Pittsburgh's a big part of all this. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I remember seeing uh, Vail and Year open for Woco. Uh, Dave Bernabo of Vail and Year, um, still a musician and also an incredible documentary filmmaker. So it was always so cool to see, as I was coming up, people, my peers uh, on, on that huge stage getting getting the opportunity to open for national acts. So just so, an incredible. Can we get you to sing another song? What, what should we do? What would you like to hear? Yeah, I'll do it. I can do <laughs> I know that we've talked about Pittsburgh songs, and I know that you've been futzing with this, so I want to hear it. All right, this is for Rick. I'm going to do a 30-second rendition of a Pittsburgh novelty song called There's a Pawn Shop on the Corner in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This was written by the same dude that wrote How Much Is That Doggy in the Window, right? 1952, and the actual title of the song is Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So it doesn't get much more Pittsburgh than that. I guess this guy had a thing for writing songs about looking through store windows. That was his, uh, that was his fetish or something. <laughs> All right, here we go. There's a pawn shop on the corner in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And I walk up and down on the block. There's a pawn shop on the corner in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. But I ain't got a thing left to haul. It was peaches, it was honey, till I lost all my money. Cause the world around the town was my dream. I was going dancing, going diving, and my blue eyes were shining. With all those sights I'd never seen. You should run into my starry eyes and ask them if they're going to change. Well, I tell you, my friend, there's a sweet new day who's calling you all my name. Oh, there's a pot shop on the corner, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and I just gotta get by the town. From the pot shop on the corner, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I can just see my angel again. Thank you, Rick. Thank you so much. Excellent. The big hit from 1952. So uh, it's timeless. You know, it is. And, you know, it, it's just, uh, uh, you know, it's so nice to be here to sort of celebrate this, to start it off, to kick it off, to get things going. And I, and I again, say to everybody, remember that Trust Arts, uh, website uh, trustarts.org slash traf there's tons to look at there's wonderful history to read about um I, I know there's there's even a little interview with the first woman executive director of the festival uh bab widows whom i know from the old bookstore in oakland she used to work there too but um the whole festival began by the women's committee from the carnegie museum in oakland and, you know, I think they maybe thought originally the festival would be there, but real, at the, for the first year, they brought it downtown. It spread around downtown. And then, you know, as Point State Park became the obvious focal point. And, you know, for 61 years, we've been celebrating this city through art. And, and art does help heal. 
and I think art helps keep us together. We had, we had thrown around the idea of trying to broadcast perhaps live from the point, and then we threw around the idea of perhaps broadcasting live from Kennywood, but we thought in the spirit of social distancing and also because, you know, we, have, we can control things a little better in our fancy high-tech studios, we're coming to you pretty much from our basement. So we want to thank all of you out there for tuning in tonight. You have an incredible nearly two weeks of events coming up. Tomorrow night we have Buffalo Rose and Inez presented by WYEP. Um, I'm a huge fan of, of these artists. Uh, Buffalo Rose just put out a new EP. You, you, I'm surely you've heard heard these folks around town. Before we do sign off, I think we need one final buckle down song to send us into our weekend. I think we need everyone out there to focus your your collective energy. Let's try to get. Oh, the buckle downs are back. Would you Would you do one one final song? Uh, yes. Oh, good. I'll make that easy for you. It's very easy. Good to see you too. Wonderful to see you guys. Make it, it won't be easy, but you'll find.